probably be a lot of people on this route. So first I wanted to show you basically this is just ride screen. You can go in here and change how many ghost riders you have, which I'll turn it down to zero. And it's on 100% reality. You can you can raise or lower it. You can lower it to 50%, whatever you want here. 110%. And then you just hit the ride. Now I'm gonna skip this part. It's in the loading screen. Now this is gonna just be everybody that's, this is the basic Ruby screen and shows you basic ride. And this is me riding. There's not a whole lot of people on this route. I might pick us another route. One where there's a lot of people on it, so you can see. So we're going to exit this route in training. Let's see if I can find one. Okay. How many is on this route? Oh, there's 170 people on this one, so we'll go on there. Test ride. Loading. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got. What am I done? See, let's see. Go into settings. Settings, and I got. I'm going to turn off this. This is where you hide other riders. So, as you can see right now, there's only me on this route. But there is actually 170 people on here. So, we hit the, the gear icon. We go to settings. And we go uh, to this setting here. Hide other users. And we tap it off. And then we exit and then there you see all the people so that's one setting there that controls how many people you see on the route all these people are the bubbles the white bubbles are people that are close to each other you know, on the route so and your nearby list that's people that are closest to you sometimes I'm always by myself sometimes so okay now we're going back out of settings, go back to settings again. <sighs> we're going to hide nearby a loot. Leaders. You can have this uh, uh, show names, so it'll show the names of the people that are, has my name up there now, you can see that. And it'll show the scale where you're riding at as far as how difficult you're riding. So you can go in there. And you scroll down and you can turn that off so that when you go back out, my name's not there. Okay, so go back to settings. Let's go down. Then we can show detailed, altitude chart. Do that. That takes the altitude chart off on the left hand side of the screen. If you don't want to know what's coming up ahead of you in the front of a ride, go back to settings, just go down. We don't want to see the note nearby list, we go there, we go there, come back out. Almost no nearby list. Now we're going to go again, settings, let's go down. Show split screen that this one here this sh uh, split screen interval it, it's uh, only in time trial mode so that's I mostly ride it just ride mode so but you could turn that off enable sounds pretty there isn't any sounds on Ruby but hopefully it'll bring something in the future uh, allow pan panoramic view that's for there there's a thing called Omni route and it has panogram, panoramic views of the area around it. You look behind you, in front of you, that kind of thing. 
next one here is called Strava Live Segments. And you generally you'll have a live segment. Let's see, there's a live segment on this route. Yeah, there is right here. As you see the coming up this hill, there's a little red line underneath the area right by my bike. You'll see this red line, and that's the Strava Live Segments. You know, have a little rider come out and say, hey, you're going, I'm going faster than you. So then we go out here and we scroll back down and we can turn that off. And Auto 360 camera, that's a, in Omni, Omni rides and that's not this kind of ride. So, and you can See, I've turned the Ghost Riders off to zero, so I have no other people to be, have up to 10 if you want. So, recommend their near next route is for when you're riding a route and you want to go one that's similar to it, Ruby will suggest another one. And if you don't want to do that, turn that off. And then we get down to snapshot automatically. That lets you snapshot a ride. Uh, and upload it to Strava or other apps that uh, allow you to do that. So you can turn that off if you want to. Most people like to leave it on. And then enable kudos, turns off the kudos on the side of the screen. So now as you can see, that's what I've got so far. Now I'll have to switch to my other device in here to get the rest of it for you so and also here see I forgot this part uh, you can set the for example okay you can set the preferred this these functions are not important it allows you to automatically adjust if you're streaming it, it'll adjust the uh, the built the different levels there 540 7 and 1080 based off your internet connection. I used to set it to auto. This high hardware acceleration helps with streaming. You have default UI that's extra small. You know, you get extra large. Let's try like extra large so you see what it looks like. Makes it a little bit bigger. Might be different because I'm on a I'm on a iPhone right now doing this. And camera distance, I have it set at the middle. I can set it to me. When I get back out, you don't see anything but the road and the uh, the timeline down the bottom. And then the, this button here is map view shows you where you're at. Tap the little camera button and bring you back to there. So shows you the basics there. So now I'm going to stop this recording and get on my uh, iPhone and show you how to uh, do things to eliminate more stuff on the on the screen if you want that. So I'll stop this recording now and Get a, little, uh, iPhone. And a Ruby Companion app. I'm going to hit, um, since I've stopped the ride, I'm going to resume it from where I was at. It's a resume the ride I was just at. Okay. And then I'm going to start riding. And I type just ride. And then I get my uh, metrics up here. And I scroll over to, uh, there's three bottom tab here. There's three different routes. First thing is your cycling computer. Second thing is the map. You know, how many how many miles you got, and the elevation on the ride, that such of stuff. And then the uh, third function is all the other stuff you get. Now I'm going to toggle, take a snapshot. Toggle controls, and I'll show you in a second what that does when I do that. Toggle controls, and everything off and on. 
it's doing it a couple times so you see and this is your different gestures you can send uh take a pull follow me and you can pause ride it anytime and hit the resume you can uh some of the things you can do if you're just out riding to have fun or that day or you don't feel tired and you don't want to go all this miles you can actually move the bike on the screen up to the hardest level or jump a level you don't want to do this if you're doing what they call a challenge route where you're trying to do the whole mileage by yourself so i always tell people not to do that so i'm going to get off of here and i'm going to uh go back to uh Apple TV and show you a video of what what it looks like when you take everything off the screen. So here's what it looks like when you uh, just have the plane, everything took it off the screen and the empty empty road ahead of you. So I uh, hope everybody enjoyed this uh, little tutorial on how to clean the screen of all the uh, different functions of Ruby. And we'll talk to you again soon. Have fun.